Hi friends, I'm Jennifer Scott and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that we are doing this today because as you know, I am a huge lover of Sephora and recently Sephora's have been opening up in the Kohl's that are around my area and my mother-in-law so sweetly, so graciously, so lovingly, yeah, you can't have her. She purchased for me a gift card to Kohl's in honor and celebration of my 100th video a few videos ago. And of course, you know, if there's a Kohl's gift card and there's a Sephora in that Kohl's, you know how that money's getting spent. So I, of course, ran right over there the other day and I was a little blown away. I expected it to be kind of like this tiny mini Sephora. It was a decent sized Sephora and I was surprised by the number of brands that it had. So if you want to see some of the makeup that I bought is on my face now, then stay tuned. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Jennifer Scott. I am not an esthetician. I am not a dermatologist. I am just a girl who is obsessed with all things skincare and makeup. If you want to keep seeing more of this, you're going to see no filter and no filter. So do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. You know you want to come back for more. All right, let's play with some new makeup. So of course, you know, here I was shopping around this new Sephora at the Kohl's store and I was actually kind of blown away by the selection, the number of brands they had. I honestly felt like it was going to be kind of like a mini Sephora. And yeah, it is. But they had really like unexpected brands for me. Now for me, when I'm looking for something specific that I know I need to perform, I always go to Makeup Forever. Their products are like bar none, you know, makeup professional quality. They are so good. They usually last forever. The colors are always saturated. Um, I like the lipsticks. I just, there's so many products. The blushes, you know, one of my favorite blushes is from them. You can just count on Makeup Forever. Well, when I saw that they launched this new lipstick, I was like, yes, I need to learn more about this. I have to try it. So of course I bought some. All right, so I got two of the Rouge Artist Shine on Sculpting Lip Colors. So I got the shades 180 and 182. 180 is Joyful Petal and 182 is a Jolly Blush. I mean, 180 to 182, you would think those colors are gonna be very similar. They actually aren't. This one's a little more pink and this one is a little more beige. So of course, if you're gonna buy a Makeup Forever lip product, you have to get their Aqua Lip Waterproof Lip Liners. These are bar none, one of the best lip liners you can get. Now I have this in the shade 14C. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. And honestly, for me, opening lip liners makes me mental. It's great to know that no one has been in there and put it on their lips, but oh my God, I fuss with these forever trying to get them open. Ugh. Seriously, if anyone knows a trick to get these plastic things off, let me know in the comments below. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Ugh. Finally. So for the two shades of lipstick that I got, this here seemed to be like just the loveliest shade of lip liner. It's kind of natural, kind of pinky. I think it'll go with a lot of my lipsticks. You know I love the natural pinks. All right, folks, this is not rocket science. I am just going to throw on this lip liner. Now these are so creamy and budge proof, you can even use them as your all over lip color. If you wanna have that matte lip look, or if you just wanna throw a gloss on over top, either way, so good. Oh, and fun fact, these were actually created for the Parisian Aquatic Ballet. What? Yeah, they tested these for five hours underwater. I mean, how much more waterproof can you get than that? I mean, look at that, how pretty. 14C Rosewood, I think it's just a really pretty color. What do you think? I think it's perfect for fall. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this considering all the other colors that I normally buy. It is a little deeper, so if I really filled in entirely, I would have a little bit more of like a raspberry lip, but just as this, it's gonna be great. All right, like I said, I have two colors, 180 and 182. All right, so the 182 is in the shade Jolly Blush. Now, when I saw this packaging at first, I was like, come on, why is it so big? Sometimes I use little purses and why, why? Well, of course, you know, I had to read into it and look it up. And it's because when you put it on the end like this, it's actually gonna give you more of like a makeup artist application because you're holding it further down here. It gives you a little more control. So, all right, a little bit of makeup artistry for us in a tube, fine. A little annoying in the purse? Probably. Although are you like me that you can just stick your hand in your purse, root around when you're looking for a specific lipstick? I mean, I always have probably, I don't know, 13 lipsticks in there at any point. And I can just tell by feel which lipstick it is, pull it out and get the exact one I want. So obviously this one is going to be super easy to do because there's going to be nothing else like this in my purse. All right, let's have a look at Jolly Blush. Ooh, Lord, she is pretty. 
All right, let me give you a little more on these lipsticks. They're $23, they come in 12 shades. This is kind of a new line. It is a satin shine with high pigments. It is infused with hyaluronic acid and cranberries. The hyaluronic acid helps to like fill in those fine lines. The vitamin C from the cranberries is supposed to make your lips appear smoother. So great, plumped, smoother, I absolutely want that. Now, as long as this holds up, now I don't need a lip color to hold up for 12 hours. I can reapply, I'm good with that. I don't like when it comes off after an hour, but if this holds up for a few hours, fantastic. All right, let's give it a try. Like I said, this is the shade 182. Uh-huh, already. Mm. Yeah, that's a fall lip for me if ever I saw one. Look at how pretty that is. It's very smooth, it's creamy, but it's not like that slip around creamy. Mm. Oh, it feels nice. It does have a light scent to it. I don't know what it is, but it is super mild. It's not like, remember those Revlon lipsticks you would put them on or your mom or your grandma would put them on and you would be like, what, all day long? Ugh. I don't think this is gonna be like that. This lip color is so pretty. I kinda don't wanna take it off, but I wanna try the other shade. All right, I gotta see Joyful Petal. Let's just take this off quickly before it sets. All right, Joyful Petal shade 180. Oh, I'm not used to putting a bottom on, but let's see. So, Joyful Petal. Is that not my pink? Come on. Is my pretty bracelet getting dragged through the shade? Yep. All right, let's try her on. Uh-huh. Yep, right there. How friggin' pretty is that? I mean, that's like a fall pink. I mean, it's deep and saturated. It's still pink, but the I don't know, the depth of that color, I don't have anything else like that in my collection. I really like that. Now, I hope that this is coming off okay for camera. I did mess around with my lights today because my lighting has not been right. It's been making me nuts. I hope it's okay today, but ooh, gosh, this is really pretty. I like it a lot. Now, like I said, it comes in 12 other shades. I obviously adore these two shades. I might look to get one other. They have some really gorgeous, like deeper fall shades. So maybe something that's more of like a deep, rusty color. Mm, I have got to get this off me before I ruin my pretty bracelet. Of course, the lip liner doesn't want to come off. Honestly, I never thought I'd have this much fun shopping at Kohl's. And I think they've finally figured out how to get me back in their stores. All right, next up from Lancome, I have their Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. So this has been all over the internet, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. And I've been curious about it because you know I love a really good um, concealer. Of course, my Dior Forever, I've been using this forever. I love this, this is my holy grail. I've just recently switched back to the Hourglass Vanish, which I love and adore also. But why not try another one? I will say picking out a color was a challenge for this because I usually use the shade matcher finder thing on Sephora's app. It's not available for this, which was super annoying. And even though I was in store, I wanted to try and use the shade match. Now I ended up, you know, testing these obviously. Why else am I going to Sephora? Because I love to play. Anyway, I was testing this and this is the lightest shade. I think it's 090 Ivory Natural. It's Ivory N, so Ivory Neutral. Sorry about that. Um, but it's super, super light. The next shade up was too warm. Like. The shade range is a little weird for me, for like my skin. Now, granted, I have a little bit of color right now, hyperpigmentation, but come fall, you know, my skin is gonna start and, you know, get a little pastier. So this should be fine. So for today, I'm going to use it like I normally would and we'll see. It's supposed to be hydrating. It's supposed to be long wear. It's supposed to have a matte finish, which is weird because usually hydrating and matte doesn't go together well, but because of some of the ingredients in here, they are like skin loving hydrating ingredients. So let's see how we like this. Incoming ugly mirror. Now, oh, by the way, have you been noticing this like garish ring I'm wearing? Well, it's because I'm in gray and honestly, I hate the color gray. I don't buy gray anymore. I don't even like the word gray. It sounds sad, gray. But this ring here, this was my mom's and she passed like four years ago and she bought this because she said, isn't it the most garish, gorgeous thing you've ever seen? And that's kind of a good way to describe my mom. She loved garish things. 
So it has like enameled flowers. There's a little bee here. There's some little sparkly stones. And of course this great big pink sparkly stone. I don't know. It's nothing that I'm gonna wear out in the real world, but every time I see it, it makes me think of my mom. And if I'm wearing gray, I might as well wear something that just makes me smile. All right, so back to the facts and figures on this. It is $29. It is 0.43 ounces, which was impressive to me because that's bigger than my Dior one, which was 0.37, I think. So at $29, this is a super good deal. Now, this is like an all over concealer. So I know some people have used it almost like a foundation. I am never gonna do that. That's just not my MO, but I'm gonna use it in a bunch of spots. Let's see how we like it. I mean the little things, they just amuse me. Mm -hmm. And I worry about this when you pull it out, it's ugh, really hard to get out. The size of that doe foot applicator, are you kidding me? So yeah, it would make it easy to go all over your face because that is so giant. Whew. Now I haven't powdered anywhere except where I have a little bit of bronzer up around my um, forehead. So this isn't going over top any powders. Everything on my face right now is just creams. So we shouldn't have any problems. I do want to of course clean up this area here. Normally I just use my fingers because I like my finger to warm up the product and press it in nicely. So we will start off like this. It is super light. I can't even tell you guys, like the shade, the next shade up was so warm. It was, was no way gonna be good for my skin. This here right now doesn't look like it's very good for me at this particular time of the year, but maybe as we get into, I don't know, December, January, it might be all right. Talk about high lighting. Now, what is really great about this, I'm not even feeling it. It's so lightweight. I like that a lot because with it being lightweight, it should not, you know, get into the creases and emphasize them. Um, what are we thinking? Like, I mean, it looks smooth. Do you see that? I have a little bit left on my finger. I'm just gonna pat it in here. This is where I have my darkness. Um, this is definitely not my summer shade. This is making me crazy. I mean, it almost has kind of like a watery feel. I'm surprised at like how thin it feels, but how much pigment there is. I mean, there's no wonder people have been loving this all over the place on the internet. I'm a little afraid to highlight my nose and in between my eyebrows, but, but I wanna see how it holds up. All right, let's just do this, okay? I'm just gonna do a little bit on the bridge of my nose. that spread out really easily. Okay, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Now to highlight my forehead, whew, I'm only gonna do one dot because the pigment on this and the very light shade, it's a lot. All right, let's see what we got. I mean, it does blend out effortlessly. I think it even has a smoothing effect see that? Now I do think that this very light shade is actually kind of aging. I don't think it, you know, gives me a youthful appearance. If anything, it makes me look older and I do not want that. So I'm definitely not going to be using this again for a couple months until my skin tone has gone down. <sighs> Looking at this, I don't even think that I need, yeah, it sets down really dry. It doesn't feel dry as in like dry, cracky Sahara. It just it's dry to the touch. So I'm going to use just a little bit of powder. I don't really need to set it, but I do kind of want to take down that overall brightness. You know what else is throwing me off? I don't have any eyeshadow underneath the lash line or mascara on those lashes because I was going to put the concealer on. I'm going to quick do that because this is really throwing me off. There we go. I'm feeling better about that. The brightness, lightness of that shade isn't 
as awful for me right now. I'm, I'm a little better. I'm a little okay with it now. But overall, I really like how lightweight it is. I like the pigmentation. I like that it doesn't seem to have settled into lines or anything. I think it is really pretty. I'm looking forward to continuing to try it. I like it. What am I gonna say? I like it. I gotta say this lip color, even though I love it, it is throwing me a little bit because I have more of like a neutral brown shade on my eyes. So I do want more of a, like a neutrally shade. The pink is just throwing me a little bit. I gotta change it. All right, and the last thing I picked up from Makeup by Mario, I picked up his new eye pencils. I have the Master Blade Brow Pencil and I have the Master Hold Brow Gel. This is in clear, this is in light brunette. I know, light brunette, I never would have thought that that would have been my color. As a matter of fact, if I would have bought this online, they have a couple other like lighter blonde shades. There's a dirty blonde. That's the one I would have actually ordered, but when I tried it in store, it still seemed a little too light for me. So I ended up at light brunette, which, okay. Spoolie on one end, pigment on the other. And the way you get it up is by pushing, what? How cute. So like I said, I got the shade Light Brunette. And for me, I think that that is going to be a nice color. Now this is kind of a stiff formula, but it's not waxy. So I like that a lot. The pigment seems to be really there. And this is so narrow. I don't know if you can tell, like that is like so narrow that you really can get the hair like strokes that every product claims that you can get, which is what I really need because these sad brows. Ugh. All right. So after I did my makeup, I did go through with a Q-tip and just wiped out any makeup that was in my brows. So let's just go in with the spoolie real quick and comb through. I mean, it's brows. It's not rocket science here again, but we all know that for me, brows is not my strong. Did you see that? Like, boom, color. Brows is not my strong point, but are you kidding? All right, here's the thing. You know I've been trying to grow out my brows. I've been using the Grande Brow Serum since May. It hasn't made a difference. It really hasn't. I've been very careful to not pluck except for any of the weird hairs, but it really hasn't made a difference for me. So great brow products is what I need. And what have I done? Like eight, 10 strokes. Can you already see the difference between the two? Come on. You know, I am always looking for a holy grail brow product. Now I'm <sighs> speechless. I. I'm not even done with this and I'm beyond impressed. All right, as far as I'm concerned, every other brow pencil I have is super waxy compared to this. This is just like smooth, easy, pure pigment. Are you, are you, can you, I'm, game over. Shut it down. This is my new product. Are you kidding me? Why is not the entire world freaking out over this? I mean, it's because the rest of the world doesn't have the awful brow issues that I have. Are you kidding? I'm, are you seeing this? Are you, are you just like, girl, it's just an eyebrow product. Here's the thing for me, this is more than an eyebrow product. This is kind of life-changing. Life-changing. Sweet Jesus. Oh, thank you. I, I need to take a moment here. All right, let's do the other side. Let's see if it looks, that's the thing. Does anyone else have that problem where like one eyebrow totally cooperates and the other one is like, no bitch, we ain't friends? That's usually my story. All right, let's see what happens today. This is so easy. I guess that's like the big thing besides the amazing pigment, how really good the shade is. This is easy. I have struggled with different products for so long. Th I'm not struggling. This is easy. 
I mean, I'm just filling in, drawing little hairs where I want them to be. I... This has me shook. Like, I'm shook. I friggin' love this. Friggin' love this. All right, put that down. Let's try the clear brow gel. Now, brow gel, brow gel, aren't they all the same? This one here, he swears is like cement, that it is not going to move. I had watched um, an Instagram live he did with one of his makeup artists, and she put it in there and then she pressed it on to give that like laminated look. I don't know, are we gonna go that hard? Oh, of course it opens. Like I would think it would open like this, but no, it opens like this. Mm. And you can see that has kind of like, there is a gluey texture in there. And this is a really interesting like brush here. So you can see it has longer bristles on this side. I mean, you can still use those shorter bristles too, maybe to really press it in there. Mm. Let's try it. I mean, it's just makeup. If I do it wrong, I'll do it again tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm just gonna press it down a little bit with the side of this um, lifted, it's not shiny. It's not, sometimes you get a little bit of like a, like a white cast. That's good. The test is gonna be how long it actually lasts and if my eyebrows fall. Because these little inner hairs for me, I cannot get them to stand straight up normally. And they do fall as, well, usually the hour goes on. Let's see how long. I'm going to see how long this lasts and I will tell you about it in my next video to see if it really held up. Now, one of the things that I very often have to do is after I put in the brow gel, then I have to go back in either with a powder or the pencil just to fill in because it's like the brow gel kind of takes away the pencil sometimes. So I'm just going to fill in a little bit again after this dries. But so far so good. It definitely like makes them look natural. I am really loving this lipstick. It feels so good, so lightweight, creamy. I really like how intense or pigmented the color is. I'm just, I'm super into them, I'm super into them. This packaging, yeah, is it a little weird? Yes, whatever, I'll get used to it. Of course, I will live and die for these aqua lip liners. I've always loved them. Um, this eyebrow, I'm shook. Like they look natural to me, you know, at least here in my room, they look natural. The color is great. I, I like this. I really like this. You know how I'm about my eyebrows. Like I'm always looking for a new eyebrow product. That's going to be my holy grail, my go-to right now. This is really feeling like it. Now this here concealer, it is so hard for me to judge a product when the color is wrong. I've had really great foundations that I just can't stand because the color is wrong. If the color's wrong, it's going to show like your texture weird. It's going to just highlight weird. I really, really want to like this. I like how lightweight it is. I like the coverage. I like that it didn't settle into my lines. I like that I actually didn't even need a powder to set it. All those things are great. What I need is the right shade. What I think I'm going to try and do is get a shade that's actually my skin tone match. And maybe I can use this and mix it with that to kind of get the right highlighty shade. And honestly, then having my skin tone match, I can use it for whenever I have blemishes just to kind of like cover those up easily. But so far, I like it. I just don't like this color. I mean, whoever thought I would have this much fun going to Kohl's? All right, folks, tell me, what are you seeing? Are you liking any of this? Are you going to try any of these products? I mean, honestly, between you and me, I totally think that you should try these lip products and these eyebrow products. I'm hooked. Hooked. I know that I am pleased with all of it. I will definitely be going to the Sephora and the Kohl's again. Actually, I'll go to a Sephora anywhere. You know me. Like, she can't be stopped. All right, friends, well, if you enjoyed like this ramshackle all over the place video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. You know you want to come back and see more of this mess. All right, friends, well, I want to thank you so much for being with me, and I will see you real soon. Mwah.